happy Wednesday. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Sorry if it's a little bit of a hollow sound. I am in a different room <laughs> of the house. I'm actually in our master. And um, so our walk-in is here and the water closet is there. I have the doors open, um, hoping that that helps kind of bounce noise off. But I do apologize if it's noisy, um, a little echoey. Um, of course, the day that I need to film this, um, it is storming like the Dickens outside. It is super dark. It is well into the afternoon and it is like pitch black. We have the lights on in the house. And speaking of lighting, it reminded me, because you all know, I, if you've been following along, I love to film in natural light. I don't like ring lights and all that different type of stuff. I don't even own ring lights. <clears throat> But um, today I was like, okay, I'm waiting and waiting <laughs> so I can open the shade, the blinds and everything in my sewing room. It was not having it. But there is a couple areas in our house where the lighting um, is that um, uh, daylight lighting. I don't know what is the technical term, but one of the rooms is our master bathroom suite lighting is absolutely phenomenal and so i am in here but it reminded me i need to get change out the light bulbs in my sewing room to daylight bulbs um those daylight led bulbs i forget the name but anyway i've done it before so i need to do that again and did not think about it so i am coming in today long story short um with my destashify haul um with my destashify make with a pattern review of the agave dress by fiber and cloth studio so if you missed the interview with the pattern designer with the pattern designer i had on a sunday make sure i'll put the graphic here make sure you go back and check it out and i'll leave a link up above and you can go check it's a really really good interview actually it's the third one but i'll do a kind of a follow me next week wednesday Next week, Wednesday, I believe is February. Let me check. Okay, had to check on my phone. Actually, next week, Wednesday is February 1st. And so that is clicking off BHM Pattern Designers live event. Yes, make sure that you tune in because next week, Wednesday, I will have all my plans. I have all my fabric. I'm super excited. And I'll go over kind of my thinking my process for what I'm doing this year for my uh, different things, items I'm creating. But also, you should have seen this graphic. Um, yes, I am going live here on YouTube and Instagram on Friday, January 27th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time um, for some exciting news. And so I'm going to go live. We are going live. And yes, you're going to see all of the things, um, including um, the fabrics. So you all know I have I release new fabrics every year. So you'll see those on Friday. So make sure you locked and loaded for Friday. Make sure you hit that subscriber bell. Get notified. If you've seen it, click the um, notify me uh, button. Uh, so you get notified when, you know, I go live on Friday. And so, um, and on Instagram, you can set a reminder also on Instagram. So I am first going to jump in with uh, Dossier. So, yes, this is a collaboration with Dossier. Thank you so much, Dossier. However, I wanted to come in to share with you. I do have two new scents I'll quickly share. But if you all remember, and a couple people emailed me and DM'd me um, as well. But I wanted to show you what these fragrances look like in the store. So remember, Dossier perfumes, and I have two I want to share with you. The two I want to share with you is the Musky Musk and the Woody Green Apple. And so very nice. Now you all know I've shared with you the boxes of how they look, the packaging. Everything is the same in the store. What I did was went ahead and went to Walmart because now you can find them in Walmart. I'll leave a link in the description box. Go to Walmart if you prefer to go in person to get your scent. After you kind of looked at the scent cards, look at the scent cards on the website to make sure they fit your category. They only have so many that they sell in store, but I'm going to leave a clip here. This is what it looks like when you go into Walmart, the packaging and everything. It just has a label on the front of the box so you can clearly see what is in there and the pricing. And so, yeah, um, 
awesome so i know a lot of you like these the two that i picked up um that i um that was sent to me is the juliet has a gun the musky musk juliet has a gun is the um interpretation of that and i already knew how this smells so i knew i would like it and it smells wonderful it smells so so good so it is the juliet has it's inspired by juliet has a gun but it is musky musk and so this one is not in walmart i know for sure but their popular ones are the ones that's in walmart so again i'll leave the store indicator down below now if you still want to pick up some dossier scents on the website i do have a discount code link down below use my link and you'll be able to um grab uh that for a discount so the second scent that was sent to me was the woody green apple this is for men and this is by this is inspired by the paco raban and so my husband do he like all of the it's so funny he like every single man frank fragrance i've given him um me you all know not all of the the um scents that i had um that was sent to me i particularly liked there were quite a few that i have absolutely loved and but yeah this smells so good so if you're thinking about your sweetheart for valentine's day here's a good time to pick something up use the discount code below or head on over to walmart okay now let's get into destashify you all know i'm a brand ambassador for destashify and i was sent um some fabric i did add on to this lot just a little bit um that i did the latest that i did receive um that i want to share with you but this beauty look at that <laughs> isn't that this lighting this lighting is on point because this is these are the colors these are the colors and what i'm going to do is share with you obviously a review how i'm going to style it with what i have on and what i have on is the love notions uh tempo dress and so um yeah you all know this is kind of a tank that tank top dress absolutely love it and so what i'm going to do is pair it with um what i have on and then i'm going to pair it with some jeans and but i'll show you video or um a picture so you can see that but let me share with you the uh recent um fabric that i received and as you can tell colors just go so good with my skin tone now i've had my colors done you all know that back in april of 2021 it has been a game changer. You all know it's been, um, it's one of those things for me where it's a holistic approach. It's not just, okay, now I can get fabric and um, in colors and, you know, I can just sew all the things in my colors. For me, it's holistic. It is um, busting out my personality even more. It is um, the jewelry, the accessories, the makeup, everything is holistic for me. You all know I've always said that. And my color is, I actually have my, um, this this is a color flag it's not every color on my spectrum i'm a summer and um of course i have my here you can't see that but it says summer and so in my um wallet are all of the different shades and different colors and everything you can see that yeah so i am a summer so these colors really spoke to me and besides the fact I, um, when I looked out here, it was like perfect timing because you all know I'm planning for BHM pattern designers um, and what I plan to make. So I'll share with you what I plan to make with these next week. Um, well, actually one I'm gonna share with you today because it's real simple. <clears throat> but one is, let me show you this. This is a silk crepe de chine from Destashify. Isn't this gorgeous? Let me hold this up. That is true to color you see all that purple some navy blue in there absolutely gorgeous and it was only a yard of this available on the website but that was perfect because when i saw it i immediately thought head wrap this is going to be a head wrap all i am going to do actually um the seller surge um one end i surge the other just to make sure it doesn't get um it didn't ravel or anything in the wash but what i am and then then you have the salvages but i am not going to leave it like that so you have the south i don't have to worry about this unraveling at all but because i want a nice um roll hem i'm actually going to put this through my serger on the roll hem setting um 
the where it rolls the the edge and um have a nice little fine edge on both sides that are surged. I'll leave these um, other ends, you know, how they are. Love, I absolutely love this. Okay, then the second one, it didn't come with a slip, but this is about, it's coming up, now this is coming up a little, no, actually it's coming up true to color, but I wonder if you can tell, this is a needle cord. This was two, a little over two yards. I can't remember exactly how many, but this is a needle cord, a small needle cord. See that? So it's not, and then that's the back. So it's not a traditional, like a thick corduroy, but it is um, a needle cord and it has, what you may or may not be able to tell, I'm not sure, in um, the frame there is that it has, a it's blue but it has a purple like this purplish undertone to it absolutely beautiful and i know exactly exactly what i am making with this and i might have i might because it's wide <clears throat> this is definitely 55 uh inches wide i may have enough left over um to do something else um, but we shall see but yes, this is my Destashify haul that I just received um, this week. And so you will see what I will make up in this next month for BHM Pattern Designers. And the other one is just going to be a head wrap. I'm just going to roll the edges on my serger. And then, um, yeah, that's just going to be a head wrap. Absolutely gorgeous. Buttery soft, that silk in there. So beautiful, so beautiful. So let's get into the agave dress. Okay, like I said earlier, um, I interviewed with the designer Alexis from Fiber and Cloth on Sunday, so make sure you go check that video out. And so if you saw that, you knew I was planning on making this, and this was for my Destashify haul from next, last month um, in December, in the month of December. And so, um, look at this, y'all. First, I'm gonna show you how this is styled with this, and then I'll pop up some pictures how you know I styled it differently with some jeans, um, and then without anything, just as a dress, as it's intended. But I wanted this to be a layering piece, and I wanted to do a couple fun things with it, and so I'm gonna share with you the fabric. So this is the fabric from Destashify, a beautiful. What was this called? This is a. Um, a viscose oh it is absolutely gorgeous and it was named vintage it had vintage in the name but those colors all me and i also had this beautiful lace that i picked up from um i have a ton of this i had this for a project what project i do not know this fabric came from fabric mart that's where this fabric came from. The lace came from Fabric Mart. So I'm going to show you, I want to show you some details I did. So I did lace for the sleeves. Um, and as you can tell in here, can you tell? These labels are on my website. You can get those on my website. So I did put my label back there. And I'll tell you a couple of things that I changed. But then the yoke, the outer yoke is the lace. When I say I am in love with this, I am in love. So let's get into the pattern. So it's termed that it is for intermediate level sewing and it has four different views, but also you have an option to add on a patch pocket. That's also in the instructions as well. And so um, I decided to do view, um, what is this view four with the sleeves and um the uh sizing is very much size inclusive it goes from a 32 uh up to a 64 and that is with the hip and let me just tell you the size that i cut um so the body measurements you start at a 32 and you go up to uh, a 64 for your chest and then your hip um also then you have your hip uh range from it is in well, it does have the different views. It goes from 50 to um, an 80. And so her sizing goes from A through P, the letter A through the letter P. And so for me, I did 
um, letter G, which is chest measurement 44, 45 inches. Um, and then the hip goes up to 62. And then of course your finished garment measurement because of the style of this, you do have ease, quite a bit of ease. So you wanna make sure you, you take it into effect kind of that whole um, ease effect and how you want it to drape and fit on you is not meant to be fitted. As you can tell, it's, it is a boxy dress, but then you have that um, beautiful gathering in the back, which I'll sh uh, show you, but I should be popping up the line drawing. Um, but yeah, and you can also play with that in the instructions she shared with you, how to, if you don't want gathers, you wanna do a box pleat instead in the back. Very simple. If you don't know how to do it already, it is in the instructions. So. Let me just get into um, the make. So I printed this um, pattern because I always get this question from um, Blue Cup Shop. A video about Blue Cup Shop will be up on Sunday. So again, make sure that you subscribe, and make sure that you tune in because I have a video on Sunday, which is a very fun interview with the owner. Um, I decided not to do buttonholes um, because I wanted snaps. I specifically wanted snaps because of how I thought, I, you know, how I know I would plan to style this and wear this. And so um, not a lot of uh, pattern pieces. There's only six pattern pieces. So of course you have the front, the yoke, the sleeves. Um, and then obviously if you decide to do the waist ties and stuff like that, because it does come with waist ties, you can do that to take out that boxy effect and have it cinched in. I knew I was wearing mine with the belt, so I didn't want to do that. And I wasn't planning on doing that. Um, I did flare out the sleeve just a tad bit. So the sleeve on the pattern um, narrows as you go down um, a, a little bit. So I decided to keep it going out to around my um, elbow is pretty much how I wanted mine to fit. So that's what I did. So I didn't do a slash and spread. I just kept the, I just went out um, a little bit. Um, one of the things uh, that I do want to point out is Another reason I believe this is term intermediate because you are French seaming the entire garment and you are burrito methoding, if you choose, the entire um, yoke as well as the collar. Yes, I said you can burrito the collar. So let me just get into the instructions. So I will say this is definitely, I will emphasize, definitely intermediate. It took me two days to sew this up only because I was taking my time. Um, I wasn't in a rush and I wanted to take my time on the snaps, make sure the snaps were pr uh, placed uh, properly and everything on the garment. So I wasn't in a rush. You can sew this up in one day. Say you got a Saturday, you got a Saturday sew day, you can sew this up for sure in one day. It does not have to take two days. Um, I only had a little over um two maybe I had two and a quarter yards of this fabric so i was really nervous if i was going to get all the pieces out but i have about a half a yard left so i did really good and plus it was bonus i had to consider i wasn't um cutting the sleeve out and i wasn't cutting the extra yoke out out of this particular fabric and so um on to the instructions the instructions are really really good one thing that i suggest is that pay attention um, to the instructions. I'm getting ready to show you now. So you do French seam everything. The whole garment is French seam, which I was planning to do anyway, but when I was going through it, because you all know from viscose and rayons and drapey fabrics like this, I am loving them being French seam. And so um, even the sleeves are French seam. So let me just show you a couple things here. So, um, the entire dress, like I said, is French seam. The only thing I wish I had was um, <laughs> black interfacing, but that's okay. Um, so the entire dress is French seam, including the sleeve. So can you see that? The entire sleeve is French seam. And so, and all of the side seams and everything. Now, if you decide to do what I did and do a lace, when you are sewing the areas that have lace, let me step back so you can see me. When you sew the areas that have lace, 
shorten your stitch length. Typically for sewing, it's like two, maybe two and a half of a stitch length. But if you're sewing lace where you have these openings and everything, and you wanna make sure you catch it all and not leave, cause some areas with lace, depending on the, um, the design, you might, you have these gaps, clearly you have gaps. So if the stitch is too long, you might have a stitch go across a seam and then all of a sudden you have it, it looks like a hole, but really you just didn't catch um, the whole um, part of this, uh, the, the whole seam. So it, it doesn't look like it's a hole in your garment. So what I did when I, anything I sewed for the lace that was attached to it, I shortened the stitch length down to one and a half. Yes, one and a half, two, um, between one and a half and two on my machine. And so that's what I did. So, um, <clears throat> so love that. Um, you automatically have to cut out two, obviously, because you're doing the burrito method. And so for me, because I did cut out two, you see, oh, that is just gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. Um, and so the back uh, um, outer yoke for me, I did in the uh, lace. And as you can tell, it is gathered all the way across. In the back, I decided to keep the gathering seams in the back. Oh my gosh, I love how that how that looks. And then, um, then the other thing I want to share with you is the uh, collar. So yes, I have never personally seen or heard in a pattern um, where you can burrito a collar in. Now this is a camp style collar. This is not with the collar stand and everything, which makes it easy. Um, so it's more of a camp style collar, but you are, you have the option to burrito method it, it in. And, um, I was like, Ooh, that's going to be nice. I want to, you know, see how to do it. But, um, one of the things in the instructions I will say is the talk of doing the burrito method for the collar is a few steps into the pattern as opposed to at the front and the reason this makes a difference is because you can if you burrito the the if you're like me and you burrito um your yoke you and you you automatically burrito if your mind if you're just used to it you automatically burrito the shoulder seams um right away and so when you attach the front to the back so that's what i did so i i burrito um, all of this in right away at the beginning of my sewing, which was um, a benefit in the way that towards the end of the instructions, she tells you to tack down this facing up into the um, shoulder seam. Well, you don't have to do that if you've already done the burrito method. That's one, one less step you have to do, which worked out perfect. But that meant, let me hold this up. All of this was raw and i was perplexed as how to address that so i reached out to my good girlfriend um miss myra lorraine here <laughs> well she's no longer on youtube but you can follow her on instagram myra lorraine official and so she said oh all you got to do is just put bias binding there but when you turn this piece in just don't put the bias binding there because then it'll be too thick so that's exactly what i did and it looks for Actually, this is probably how I would finish any more of these off only because let me back up because I had once you get later in the instructions like I tell you she tells you to tack down the facing I won't have to do that ever and so I was like I can do that I think this is just gonna be my way of finishing this collar here on out and because you turn this piece in so this piece that's turned in if you can tell up underneath there is it doesn't have um, bias binding so I started the bias binding somewhat in into this area so it's completely clean there's no raw edges and then i ended it on this end slightly inside if you can see that yes yeah, slightly inside the seam and so um that's exactly what i did and i absolutely love it i absolutely love it so that's the one thing i will point out make sure you are reading the instruct if you want to do the burrito for the collar um go through the instructions you would need to 
because her instructions have a link to a YouTube video, you'll know exactly where in the sewing process you need to do that if you want to burrito um, the collar. For me, I probably never will um, because I like this and I don't have to be bothered with the step at the end that tells you to tack this in. I don't have to do that. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love it. It's a it's a really good sew. It is a really good sew. And the way I finished off the bottom, so. I, as you can tell, I have the bias binding here at the top, but I also added, I actually had some bias binding. You see that turquoise? All Every single color in this is my color. It makes me so happy. But anyway, <laughs> I use the, um, the turquoise bias binding, which matches the turquoise um, in the, which was by happenstance because um, I actually am running out of bias binding. So yeah so let me show you how i will wear this i'll pop up a picture too how it would look all together so oh, you guys i absolutely love oh my gosh i love this so much so this is how i would style it again you can't sorry you can't really see i'll pop a video and everything um but this is how i would style this isn't this gorgeous isn't this gorgeous this is this is absolutely gorgeous and so um then my belt so i had ordered a navy belt and i said you know what i would wear this a couple different ways with my belt i will put on the belt i wouldn't put it tight just because i want to be able to um, move this but <clears throat> i can do see that oh my gosh you guys you cannot see i'll i'll, I'll post the video oh Mm, mm, this is first make of 2023 and i i am in love i am in love look at that look at that and the mirror is right behind <laughs> so i can see oh this is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that is my review for the agave top and dress i highly highly recommend if especially if you the sleeveless version that has the crop top version everything definitely will recommend for summer sewing spring sewing um also fall this is you can do this her instructions include if you use a heavier weight fabric if, instead of doing the french seams which you can do because obviously heavyweight fabric trench seams just don't go well together so if you do decide to do this in a heavier weight fabric she does have instructions that say if you use a heavier weight this is what you should do but the instructions are phenomenal love 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 only pay attention if again if you want to do the um burrito method for the collar watch the video click on the link in the pattern to watch the video so you know exactly where to do that but then that will mean at the end you will have to tack down the facing in your collar so i didn't have to um worry about doing that but anyway i absolutely love it you all are gonna have to let me know what you think but this is absolutely gorgeous let me give you the back and again you'll see pictures absolutely gorgeous all right, everybody, make sure you stay tuned for uh, Friday, January 27th. I will be going live and then make sure you stay tuned for Sunday's video. That is a, another interview and also um, another pattern review, actually. So make sure you stay tuned. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Let me know what you think of how this turned out. Yeah, let me know what you think. All right, everybody, you all have a blessed rest of your week. And we will see you on the live on Friday. Bye.